This segment is called, well, Design Handbook. And the title is pretty much self-explanatory. But in the complex world of automotive design, there's another wonderful term that seems to be used less and less these days, styling. Once used to describe the design operations at most of the world's automakers, the term fell out of fashion in the early to mid 80s. Styling was seen as puffery, something so lightweight it was inconsequential. At the Detroit 3, styling was completely purged from the names of their design operations. This was, and still is, wrong. Styling is no less important than design, and unfortunately, these are not interchangeable concepts. Let me show you. Here's a well-designed glass. It's attractive. It's practical. It'd look good holding almost any brand of a good single malt scotch. It's an excellent example of really good design. But this glass, this glass is styled. Both hold a comparable amount of the aforementioned adult beverage, and both are easily used, but one of them, this one stands out. Not only was it styled, but it has style. Here's one really well-designed set of cutlery. It's functional, comfortable in the hand, and it's a great baseline for what a really competent fork, knife, and spoon should be. But these three pieces transcend competency. They have presence. They command your eye. This is heavily styled cutlery, and it's no less functional than the competently designed set. Houses, as we all know, are regularly designed. But they can be styled. And so it is with cars. Without citing an extreme case, let's take a look at the 2013 Honda Accord. We're talking about a clean, functional, and very nicely surfaced four-door sedan. It's one of the best-looking Accords in years. The function of the car reads through its design. It's a very, very well-designed family car. Chevrolet's new Impala is more than designed. It has been styled. Now, to some eyes, mine included, it's a bit overdone. But regardless, from almost any angle, the new Impala has a presence and attitude that's been missing from its predecessors for several decades. There are a lot of other cars that are chock-a-block with style. Some of them good, some of them bad. But whether it's the Chrysler 300 or the upcoming Infiniti Q50, to my eyes, styling always pips design. For AutoLine Styling, excuse me, Design Handbook, I'm Jim Hall. We need your vote. Yes, your vote. And the way you will give us your vote is to subscribe to AutoLine Design Handbook. It's so simple. A child can do it. But trust me, if you like this broadcast and you want to see it again, remember to subscribe. Give us your vote. And by the way, I will be running for regional mayor and anybody that's actually in the area, I would appreciate your vote too. And kind of forget the stuff you've seen here maybe. <laughs>